Hey, yo, welcome back, friends, after one of our hugest episodes ever. We are back with episode in our ridiculously numbered system, 19.5, I think we are at, but realistically, probably episode 140. It's Sean the Butcher here with Vertebrae 33 on In Madness Pod. What's going on? What's going on, Sean? I just uh, I just got up from my nap, my post Halloween nap, we my mental nap. Our surprise drop. We did the new episode part one on the Monday, and then instead of making our family wait another week on Halloween, our special holiday, we dropped the second part of the episode. People were tripping out, which was cool. Seeing a lot of people listening, which was cool. A lot of people interacting, which is really cool. And I'm hearing a lot of people revisiting uh, previous episodes as well, which is always great to hear. Uh, we are on the socials at In Madness Pod, In Madness Pod at gmail.com. We will get more into detail about that later. But if you want to write us, we will most likely read your email on the show and give you a shout out if the news is good enough in the email that you have we have the youtube uh subscribe like comment on everything and we have our in madness playlist which is growing like wildfire which after this episode will grow even bigger and more epic as we get into things but uh yeah so it's it's been a wild ride even before halloween which is a couple things that i want to recap uh but uh, before i go yammering off at the mouth w what would you like to get into <laughs> and how have things been for you uh are you ready for this point five of in madness pod i'm ready i'm i'm hanging in there do you sound a little under the weather for i'm disclosure? sick yeah i yeah. was gonna i was gonna bring my thermometer and and take my temperature oh, uh, during right the here. show while we uh, record but, yeah. yeah but i left it i left it in the other room but yeah i mean i've got 550 pounds of snot here and no human being on earth i challenge anyone to produce more snot than i produce because oh is, boy it is incomparable there's no there's no, I don't, I sit there and I like, I look in the garbage and I'm like, how, how does this come at? This is more than what's inside my body. I just don't understand. It's so <laughs> terrible. It's so, you know, gross. you shouldn't, you shouldn't be like, we're on these socials and we have an email address and I challenge you to show me more snot. Cause like snot a contest, <laughs> snot contest. Please no, address all of that at Sean, the butcher. Yeah, I do not. Don't at I do not. 33. Yeah, I don't want to see your snot. I want nothing to do with it, but man, a little, a little snot's not going to stop me from doing the podcast. Oh, I appreciate the five. it. Uh, this is and, nothing, just some boogers. You know, jumping in past like Halloween and, and it was such a, the reaction has been great to that episode or episodes. Um, and it's so heavy duty. Uh, I, you know, I listened to both after I recorded them and realized how many th more things I wanted to talk about, but I was excited that we, kind of agreed that we'll just you know we can continue this as we go along when we have forever on, i like how you said you're, about it i like how you said during the episode it, it now lives in our you know our library forever and now we could go on and talk yes. about it yeah and re yeah re this is it. it's in the uh in madness canon it exists in our universe and if you've listened to this podcast at all or if you go back and you're a new listener you'll notice that we will allude to things from so once we talk about a movie the batman we'll bring up other things oh that was just like in the batman or so we just kind of keep you know gathering this material it's not like we didn't know these movies before but now that we've put them out there and we've addressed them and we've had our episodes they become part of what we do going forward at halloween you know probably being in a lot of ways th the biggest um for sure but it's exciting to see the reaction uh i don't know if you checked the email but I, I i dug around for research because if you listen to the episode there was this whole discussion on this book and laurie are you ready class. are you ready are you ready what do you have because i went and i dipped into and i hope you have the same friggin thing that i have well and okay this will be funny because we i don't know but let's go back for a second so the teacher and i'll read it it says but what samuels is really talking about here is fate you see fate caught up with several lives here no matter what course of action collins took he was destined to his own fate 
his own day of reckoning with himself. The idea is that destiny is very real, concrete thing that every person has to deal with. How does Samuel's view of fate differ from that of Costain's? And then she calls on Laurie, and busted. we've addressed this. Yeah, not busted, because she's a genius. And Laurie says Costain wrote that fate was somehow related only to religion, where Samuel's felt, well, fate was like a natural element, like earth, air, fire, and water. And teacher says, that's right. Samuel's definitely personified fate. In Samuel's writing, fate is immovable like a mountain. It stands where man passes away. Fate never changes. So I do all my due diligence on this. And I, I'm digging and I'm digging and I'm reading. And Can I'm I just typing. say, I immediately knew something was wrong when during the episode, I'm frantically Googling it while we're talking so I can make it look like we know what we're talking about. Yeah. And no matter what I search, no answer popped up. No answer. So apparently... Uh, this was just made up for the script. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and it was just writers names. He used It could have even been cause he had, uh, you know, Loomis, Samuel Lewis, like who knows what he, he did here. Uh, there is a Thomas B. Costain who's a writer. Uh, but he mostly wrote like these historical novels and any fiction was related to actual historical events. So Yeah. If, if we're wrong, somebody can tell us, but I couldn't find anything. And then I finally found an article that basically said it was made up for the movie. So, in, yes, yes. Similar to you, I had the exact same journey right before the episode. I'm like, I have to find this. I have to find this. And in digging through on some article I found, looking through Google, it says, as far as I have been able to determine, Samuel's book is not a real book. It's entirely Carpenter's invention. The fact that Samuel's shares the last name used by Marion Crane when she checked into Bates Motel in Psycho would mm. seem to support this notion. Oh, yeah. Uh, so shout go. out to, I think that's from the book horror, uh, bo bookerhorror.com, I think is where that came from. So shout outs to them. Yeah. yeah. I knew it was weird. I Because cause you, you, you could type two words of that phrase anything that you just said into google and boom the title will pop up the author the year the book mm -hmm. the everything and i was frantically searching during the episode and nothing is popping up and i'm like you son of a bitch you've got to be kidding me where what what is this and it's not real so yeah <laughs> yeah so th thanks thanks john deborah hill and john carpenter for leading us down a path but it's great. We should have known, though, right? We should have known that he was just using this moment to teach us about what's going to come up in this in this film. And it was all much like he did in the entire movie. It's much. It's all there, kind of on the surface, and it all has good readability together, right? A lot of people have ingested his movie and come out with all these ideas that Carpenter either just ignores or doesn't refute or is annoyed by. Um, and we've all, all the geeks have made all that stuff out. So it, it's kind of perfect that there isn't a second layer to this other than this heavy first layer that he gives us about fate and Michael Myers and Laurie Strode and her friends and the fate of the town. Um, it, it, yeah. So we weren't wrong folks. I I feel good that at least it didn't exist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was so worried it was not only existed, but it was going to be like obvious, blatantly. Yeah, the obvious. most important book. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in like the American Bible literature. Or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we and we missed it completely. Um, but you know, it it got me just thinking about fate and destiny. And before you go into what you want to talk about, I I was curious for you where where do you stand on that kind of stuff like where do you stand on you know destiny let's say for example we got into this once on a previous episode i can't mm -hmm. remember which one it was mm -hmm. it might have been krampus or the lighthouse or something i don't remember but uh yeah i know that's like a really weird thing and like like things are meant to be the way they are or whatever i i, I don't know uh i don't 
I don't know if I believe. I feel like everything kind of. We were talking about chance or something, chance mm-hmm. happenings or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I'm. I feel like things just. I feel, and I and I said this before. I think I feel like whatever decisions you make, it's like a choose your own adventure. So like I could do this and it'll go that way, or I could do this and it'll go that way, and that's how mm-hmm. I kind of feel. That's that's how I feel things go. Right, and and. I don't know if that's fate. I don't know what that is. Were you destined to be Sean the Butcher? And on this podcast with you? Yeah. I mean, wouldn't it be cool? Wouldn't it be cool if I was destined for it and here we are? You put enough things in a certain column, it probably weighs it in a certain direction. And well, like you said, when we brought this up before, you were like, you met me. And then we did this and then we Mm. did that. And now we do this podcast and like, yeah, like everything by chance or by, I forgot what your exact quote was on it. I wish I would have prepared and knew what episode that was. What I don't even, yeah, I I don't, I can't even remember. I'm like really thinking hard about it. But what about you? What's your take on it? I'd hate to think that I'd hate, I'd hate to think that something else is controlling me. Yeah. Matrix. yeah, so if it's your destiny, I mean, certainly, you know, I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, so there's a lot of talk of destiny in there. Um, but I I do think if you check off enough things in a certain column in life, you will head in that direction. If you shoot a basketball every single day, you're going to get good at shooting a basketball. Is it your destiny or your fate to be good at shooting a basketball, or did you put in all that time and effort? to get you there i don't i certainly don't like the idea that you know just let things happen i think you you like me or somebody who works very hard to to get what they have and where they've gotten and never feel like you're far enough so i I, that kind of bothers me if i'm just going to sit back and be like "Eh, no matter what happens you know it'll all work out type thing I feel like fate for every specific person on this planet when in all reality we are all specks of dust flying on a rock that's rocketing through space at a ridiculous speed. I just think it's too much of a – it's not even comprehensible. Like it's it can't yeah. be possible. Like it, we would love to feel like special in that way, but no, I feel like it's chance, everything. And I this feel was – Chance, yeah. This discussion we had was on signs when we did the oh! signs. Oh, how did it come to you? It just came to you? Yeah, it just came to me. Hey. So that was on the signs episode because we were talking about all of the things that had to happen and Swingway Merrill and everything else. So go back to our signs episode and and check it out. We had a kind of a deeper discussion around that movie, um, which had a lot to do with signs and destiny and fate and and yeah. aliens who are allergic to water coming to a planet that's 94 percent water yeah is it 94 percent or is uh, no sean please facts? are you kidding me no don't <laughs> sean facts sean facts <laughs> don't listen to anything i ever say was that was that your thing was that what you had for our point five yeah yeah okay. it's pretty much in just my sort of overriding love of the halloween episode and uh i did i watch I usually watch all of them kind of every year. I try to. What's weird is I start Halloween stuff leading into Halloween, but it's really like until Thanksgiving, I kind of keep watching that stuff. I've been doing the marathon. I did one. I did two. I did three. I did four. I don't think I got to five yet, but God damn it. I know you're a big three fan, and I know there's a whole cult for number three, but got that goddamn shamrock the silver shamrock song you want to talk yeah. about you want yeah. to talk about a a drill on slow oh i have that soundtrack we could put Into it on the and listen temple to it it's not even the fast drill it's like the slow <laughs> where you barely pull the trigger on the drill and it just slowly oh that it's an agonizing agony i can't wait to get to that episode I, the, good, the, good movie good concept but fuck is that theme song annoying yeah it's supposed to be Right, it's supposed to. We can get to it, but uh, I, I want to say, and we don't always. We've talked about a few podcasts on here, um, but John Carpenter was just on a postmortem podcast with uh, Mick Mick Garris, and that podcast is an amazing podcast. He's been doing it for seven years, and I think he's wrapping up. Um, 
but he knows John and he was he's super involved in the movie industry and as a publicist and and a writer and oh, I won't do him any justice because I didn't write this down but and a great interviewer and you should listen to it because he John Carpenter is very open and they talk about why he got involved in the new movies and he point blank asks him if he's seen all of the Halloween, Halloween movies and he's like fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> So and 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 he talks a lot about music, um, you know, with his son Cody and and his um, godson Daniel Davies, which I found very interesting. And it's a really good; it's about an hour long interview. So post mortem podcast, you should check that out. And listen to John talk, and then kind of whet your appetite for when Sean and I eventually successfully get him on here. Until then, you can check out our episode eighteen point seventy five of our ridiculous number system for Id Madness Pod, where I interview his wife Sandy King at Comic Con. Uh, she brings me right into the booth, and I had to talk with her about the tale of Halloween Night. Damn, what's the name of the book? Halloween Horror Nights. I forget the name of the book. I'm gonna post it up on our socials anyway. But there's a bunch of series out for them, and I have a bunch of them. And I bought the one signed by Carpenter and Sandy King. I think it's Tales of Halloween Night, and mm -hmm. uh, they got a bunch of these, and it's a bunch of different stories. Carpenter writes one, Sandy writes one. They get a bunch of different writers, a bunch of different animators. So each story has different animation. It's just very brilliantly well done. And she tells me the whole story about the birth of that idea on our ridiculous podcast which is just insane uh, <laughs> so yeah so i like i told you we are one degree of separation away from carpenter now so that brings us that much closer here we go uh, here we go so i have two things really quick if, if we okay. can get them. one of sure. them is new york, new york comic-con uh i want to recap new york comic-con because it was a hectic day we tried to do what we tried to do but even then it was just so busy uh i knew your comic con did well for you you had a good time out there you'll be returning yeah. next year, hopefully yeah i mean the plan is to go back the plan was originally for it to be my last year so i was gonna just cap it at i did it 10 years and that was it and i had a good run uh but i had a really good time and i got to bring a couple other people with me who got to sell stuff along with me at the booth and their energy kind of helped lift me a little bit and although it's exhausting completely thoroughly exhausting it was it was a great time and um you know as of now if they'll have me back i i will be there shout outs to steve urena shout outs to manny from funco shout outs to i think his name was john from kaiju mm -hmm. brooklyn uh sandy king again we had morticia and gomez adams so i got i got saw a tweet on the socials that somebody went and checked out chopping mall because gomez adams brought it up on the pod That's which amazing. is great so always you know listen with your ears open and things that you hear on this podcast and you haven't checked out go check them out shout out to basil basil was on the podcast my buddy uh just a great time out there i want to talk about your closing song it is very mm -hmm. important. It is a oh, vital geez. part of New York <laughs> Comic Con. Uh, you were telling me, because I've done Comic Con with you before, and you're like, it's time for the closing song. Do you remember? And I'm like, no. How, how did I forget the closing song? I can tell you now. From this point on, I will never forget the closing song. Oh. Someone even came over to you while you were closing up, and they were like, dude, what is with this song? Uh -huh. Can you go into detail about your your? It's the every night, the night you wrap up Comic Con, you play. Yeah. You're playing all day, Metallica. Yeah, Baron, so we're West playing. Mules. I'm playing music all, all day. There's you know a metal playlist, and we play not all the obscure black metal that I listen to because nobody would buy a T-shirt if I played that. Um, but I, I you know, it's, it's Metallica and Pantera and Slayer and Mastodon and bands like that who will you know get people jumping in into the booth. Um. But every night I finish up and it ends at seven. And so right at seven, uh, I put on Whitney Houston's <laughs> I Will Always Love You, which is legit. And I guess this is now that you put me on the spot. I have to say this out loud is legit. My favorite love song of all time. Hey, I, you, I think you quoted it as shower song. Yeah, that's my shower song. That's my shower jam. <laughs> if I'm going to listen yeah. to music in the shower, it's going to be that that song, and I will, you know, 
wholeheartedly sing along. Um, it's gotten to a point when I did it a few years in a row and I had the same people around me, they, they would sort of, some people would kind of look over around that time because, listen, vendors are excited to be there. They're excited to sell. But at seven, it's like, Done. it's time to go. Let's get out of here. And I hadn't had it on yet. And he just kind of looked across. There was a bunch of people. And he was just like, Whitney? Whitney? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. So uh, I think it's a, I think it's an awesome way. It does throw people off because there's this metal booth and there's all, all this Lovecraftian horror and black and white t-shirts and, 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 you know, despite me not wanting to end up with a bunch of dudes kind of staring at people it, in my booth, it ends up like that. Right. So we have this presence, this kind of heavy presence. And then that, that jam comes on. So one of uh, the greatest songs of all time, I will back that completely. Yes. Uh, and we are a hundred percent adding it to the in madness playlist. Oh, that's Vertebrae awesome. 33 for the comic-con booth every year a song i will never forget every time i hear it you will be the first person i think of hanging out at comic-con behind the booth drinking my whiskey and hitting my vape pen and eating my edibles and giving out candy and doing all sorts of weird shit around the comic-con i will never forget that ever again that's <laughs> will stick with you that's forever. awesome <laughs> Uh, yeah, so now I can up. listen to that uh, playlist in the show. Yes, you know, I got the In Madness on. playlist. We have so much cool shit on there. We recently added Lost Becomes for Chef Brian from our menu episode. Uh, I can run through it right now. We got Blue Oyster Cult, Don't Fear the Reaper, Michael nice. Myers. Uh, we got a ton of the John Carpenter Halloween themes on there. Prince Party Man, because I posted a picture of the Joker gang who was dressed up at Comic-Con. I stopped the dudes. I was like, yo, best costume yet. So mm -hmm. shout out to those dudes. Uh, yeah, if you haven't yet, check out our New York Comic-Con episode. It's kind of all over the place. I tried to organize it the best I could, but uh, I had a lot of cool interviews and a lot of cool run-ins with people, and I'm hoping next year, bigger, better, longer, cooler. Uh, it was so much fun, and I can't wait to do that again. So thank you for having me out at New York Comic-Con. Uh, was there anything else you wanted to highlight from Comic Con that was? Uh, no, I'm just, I'm just sitting here thinking I didn't think I would do a podcast with you, and then we would talk about Whitney. Whitney Houston, Houston the late great Whitney Houston, rest in peace. I, I, I mean, you stand up on the chair when the when the snare hits, and it's bah. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> like if the whole place isn't like everybody is just yeah yeah that's it's epic it's yeah. just you feel that you every time you could hear that song a million times <laughs> which i'm sure you have and every time it yeah. hits in the chest i equate uh, that to like a uh love song breakdown yeah yeah right like it just hits this is you know, uh, uh, Sepultura's dead embryonic cells. Yeah. It, it's, it and that, uh, that part hits. It's, you know, it's rainy blood. It's, it, it, yeah. Yeah, I think it's, um, I I want you to come at us on the socials and tell me. A better start one. Controversy. Come yeah. on. Come on. There's, no, There's nothing. We better. wanted podcast beef, right? Is there, <laughs> is there a Whitney Houston podcast? Love, love song beef. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what's got. Is there a love song podcast? Maybe we should start one. But yeah, yeah. But uh, now we cool. win. There's nothing better. Uh, I had one other thing I wanted to bring up. Um, so what we'll probably do eventually, once we get around to it, we're gonna check out the in madness gmail we did it recently on an episode and noticed that we had tons of emails which was very cool not tons but like you know i'll just say it's tons because who knows who's looking at it besides me we had tons of emails mm -hmm. and uh i haven't dipped back into the mailbag yet but uh i accidentally logged into it when i was trying to get into my email and i already saw that there were new emails and now that the halloween episode is out i'm sure there's going to be more emails and the comic-con episode so we are eventually going to dip into the mail bag however i did create something for you here and i want to see if this works so i'm going to share my screen with you and i'm going to share my audio and i hope this audio is going to come up if it doesn't i will figure out a way to get it in so because we have this new bit i feel like every bit needs a good sound effect Oh. And <laughs> oh. I gave our 
mailbag the inappropriate name of mail sack because what's better than hit us in the mail sack in madness pod <laughs> at gmail.com and during an episode you told me that we should make a sound effect for mail sack and uh you made some kind of noise and i used that noise you made in okay. the sound piece i made so i don't know if this works for you but so far, this is what I have. Mail sack. Woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> so anytime we dip in, anytime we get hit in the mail sack or we want to read some emails, we could do mail oh. sack. Woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of our milking uh, of the alpacas uh, moment with the horn, we have mail sack. Woo. Like, okay. if you're listening now as me live, like, I didn't know any of this. I didn't know we were talking about Whitney Houston. I didn't know we we was going to be a sound effect. This is great. I love it. I so love it. Uh, we also got, we put out, because uh, you weren't sure about the mail sack name, mm-hmm. uh, we put out requests for possibly other names. Yes. For the mailbag, a couple, two options came in that I saw. As of now, there was Mad Mail and Mail Madness. Hmm. Which is good, but I don't think it's as good as mail sack wee wee. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's what is it? Mail I like mail madness. Mad mail or mail madness. It's just like mad mail madness. Wee wee. See? <laughs> <laughs> Cut, clipped, and done. Thank you. <laughs> Make my job uh, easy for me. I just me. walked Perfect. into that one. Oh, Perfect. Uh, cool. <laughs> yes. Make sure you email us in madnesspod at gmail.com. We will read your email on air. You can hit us in the mail sack or mail madness. Uh, that was very cool. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of my favorite parts of this episode. And you know, whether I don't, I don't read the emails before we go on air either. So it's going to mm-hmm. be total shooting at the hip and uh, seeing what we can get out of it. But I so have we'll other stuff, that. but I can save that for more point fives later. We on. do that after the next next movie. We'll we'll go into the. Uh, and that's the thing. I was working out our schedule, and I don't think we're going to have time to because if we do our next thing. Oh, and then we do a point five after that next thing. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do so that. So send in after. mail, and you'll you'll we'll read it in in a few episodes about anything you might have questions on, anything, anything you might have comments on on our previous episodes, on any of our point fives, uh, any just qu- questions in general, even if it's not about stuff, even if you're just curious about something, perhaps we can answer on air and maybe we'll just have to hit you on the side with another answer if there's other things that we can't say on the podcast. But yeah, I mean, that was it. I wanted a Halloween recap, a New York Mm -hmm. Comic Con, Whitney Houston recap and uh, hit us in the mail sack. Nice. So uh, (laughs) do we... Do we tease the next episode? So uh, we're going to do a movie next, as is customary. We're coming up on our one-year anniversary, which is going to be wild. Yes. Uh, we have a couple of can episodes. Can we tease? Wait. can I don't know the rules, Sean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we tease the one-year anniversary episode now? I feel like people's attention span is too short. Well, we drop like a little hint now because it's going to be a big one. If you have one, it's going to be a big. Well, if I say, <laughs> you're going to give it away. I think I'm we, should, def- give it we away. should definitely also give a hint for the next episode as well. But if you want to give one for our one year, if you have it, I'll let you do it. Okay, I'll just say that we are dropping it around the anniversary mm-hmm. of this mm-hmm. film. Mm-hmm. I think that's, that's it. I think that's, that's it. it. Anymore, we'll give it away, and That's it's a big anniversary. Yeah. yeah, and and if That's and maybe and maybe you don't even know when our one year anniversary is. Maybe you don't even know what we're talking about. Maybe you didn't hear our first episode, <laughs> Krampus. <laughs> uh, so yeah, yeah, that yeah. was a good episode. Remember those? Remember the old days? Remember episode one before we started ridiculously numbering these things? I think it was one point six. <laughs> One point, yeah, yeah. Um, so for okay, so the plan is to have a, a guest for our yes. next episode. 
uh, a buddy of mine, a buddy of ours, a friend of the show. I won't, I won't say that yet. He's a musician. I'll tease that much. Mm-hmm. Uh, if we do get him on, which is cool. I think we are because he confirmed our days with us. Our next movie is one that both he and Vertebrae agreed on and pitched to me. And I've been holding off on it for so long. And now once it got pitched by, now I'm outnumbered. Now I'm outnumbered mm-hmm. on my own goddamn show. Yeah. So uh, we will. Be, and this uh, movie's it's heavy in its own way. Have you have you seen this movie? I right. so I was I was thinking about it. I think I have during the okay. pandemic, but it was a total half pay attention. Same as Color Out of Space, where I don't okay. know if I've seen it, but when I watch it, I'm going to be like, oh yeah, I've definitely seen this before. I'm yeah. pretty sure I have, uh, and I'm pretty sure uh, that I've seen it before. But for a teaser. I'd say r- rage against the. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> and I love this movie. Yeah. And I love the soundtrack and the visuals and the director does a phenomenal job. And we'll get into all of that. But this is one of the ones that I, I wrote down early on yep. my list for the podcast. Although I think when we started, we were like, oh, this will be a horror movie podcast. And then I think once we made the list, we were just like, oh, this isn't a horror movie podcast at all. Oh, and it's- yeah, you, you're going to see how quick it changes right <laughs> after the movie that's after yes. this movie because yeah, we are going yeah. off the rails. And yeah, I so it is. Wait. We are official. We will officially be a movie podcast, period. Um, and. We will lean heavier into horror and stuff. <laughs> you know what? Sure. I, I'll say a villain based podcast. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. Cause like every movie we cover has like a villain, there's always a bad guy. No, I think that's like every movie though. Nah, nah, nah. Name well, a movie maybe, without maybe. a bad guy. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. You put me on the spot. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I still say it's in the darker realm. I don't think it's just any movie. No. Yet. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's maybe kind of uh, stuff that leans into genre filmmaking and and and, and weirder stuff. We definitely lean on horror, sci-fi, Lovecraftian horror. Um, but I've noticed that a lot of people who like that stuff also like the other movies, and I think that we're going to do going forward because weirdly they still fit in that universe. If that makes any sense. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. So when we get to Mary Poppins. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then then we've completely gone off. They've ran Uh, out of movies. (laughs) The next one's big, 20. Episode 20. When re- realistically, it's episode like it's not episode 20. It's probably no, it's 50. in the we're in we're in the 30s now. <laughs> yeah, we're wants like to count how many we've done and let us know how many we've done so yeah, far. It's but, on the uh we're so lazy, it's on the Apple app. If you just go on <laughs> I'll there, check you can it out. see how many episodes it is. <laughs> but it's but it is officially 20 for us in our minds. Yes, yeah. it's our 20th film. Mm-hmm. So I think yeah. that's the way yeah. we should think about that's, it. Right? Yeah, that's how we're doing it. Yeah, Rather than episode is... numbers, this is our twentieth film that we're correct, discussing. correct. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. That's it. Nineteen point five. Wrapping it up. This was a great one. This was really, really, really cool. Uh, and I think we're gonna do something fun right after this. But by then, the, t- the time this gets posted, it'll have already <laughs> the future, happened. the past, the yeah, present. Yeah. We're now we're in Terminator. Nothing dead can come through. It's so funny because because of this podcast, all your gnarly bits, like they'll pop up on like Facebook sponsored ads or whatever of people mm-hmm. who like just post movie shit, and it's all the exact stuff that like you say in this pod is is in those posts. And I'm like, it's that's the same shit when you're at the supermarket and you're talking about cookies, and and then all of a sudden cookies pop up on your phone. It's because of this, all of this movie stuff starts popping up on my phone, and I'm like, oh, I know this gnarly bit. Uh, I learned this on It Madness Pod. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, so that's it. That draws us to a close for episode 19.5. Did you get all your bits in? Are you cool? I'm cool. This has that's been great. Up. Thank, Thanks, guys, uh, everybody, guys, gals, whoever, space creatures, people from the middle of the earth. I think there's something about the middle of the earth that's going on. We're going to have to talk about one of these days, about an old planet inside of earth, which is freaking me out a little. Arctic creatures. 
Uh, we thank anyone and everyone that's listening. Please send in uh, emails. We're going to read them. We're going to read them. We're not possibly going to read them on the air. We are going to read them on the air. You Even are if- the show. Send us emails, idmadnesspod at gmail.com. Also at idmadnesspod on all of the socials. Awesome. Thank you. And I- Love you. Yeah, he did it. He did it. See you next week. <laughs> uh.